Right, I'm hopefully not going to get any distractions or interruptions here and I'm going to try and sort of describe to you how the um, touch body to touch down conversion process should go. So as you can see I've got both pieces of software open, I've got the touch body toolkit on the right, touch down web server on the left. Um, so obviously you'd use a touch buddy toolkit to create your profile and assign your macros and things like that. Um, it's relatively straightforward to work with. Um, if you click on the button you'll see your keystrokes that are assigned in this top left section. Uh, the only differences you're going to find really from um, creating a profile specifically for touch buddy or specifically for touchdown is a couple of the more advanced macros such as um, holding key presses down um, and, and releasing after a, a an amount of time. Um, instead of using the pre-def defined keys, which I'll just bring up the list for you, which is this list of keys here that have to be prefixed with the word pre-def like this, so you'd use macro pre-def and then the key that you want to use, you'd use the touchdown syntax instead, which um, if you ask me is a little bit more straightforward. Sorry, the brief interruption there. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna look at the um, touchdown web server uh, README file, which is accessible by desrat.lightning-bolt.net, etc. Or you can use the new desratsworld.co.uk address. And you get the same file. Uh, so yeah, so where you'd use a uh, these pre-def um, sort of backspace and things like that, uh, you just use the name of it, uh, of the key in a parentheses, uh, with or without uh, a down or up attached to it to specify whether you want a key down or key down up event. Um, if you want to delay between, you just specify you know a key down event, then a pause, and then a key up event, and that'll give you what you need. Okay, so I don't need to save the button changes. So that again. That profile is all valid, it was working perfectly fine in, in Touch Buddy, but obviously you want to be able to use it on uh, on an, another device. So in this case, I'm going to, want to use it on my iPad. Um, so I have this Touch Down web server on the left hand side, and I'm going to tell it to convert a profile. So I'm going to find the Touch Buddy profile file that I'm working with here and click open. It's then going to ask me where it wants me to save the newly created Touchdown profile version. Um, those need to be in the data docs folder of um, your Touchdown installation, wherever you've put that. Uh, and it will automatically uh, try and take to put it there in the first place. So all you need to do really is make a new folder. I'm going to put A2 for Armour 2. I'm going to highlight it so it shows in the folder browser and click OK. And then it should start converting over. As you can see it's created an armor 2 folder, A2 folder sorry, within that it's starting to copy across all the images and, and uh, the code that we need in addition to the the JavaScript and the um, HTM file that um, your browser is going to need to be able to, in to interpret this new um, JSON data which is what the conversion process does, it takes the information from the touch buddy profile and converts it into uh, JSON which is a JavaScript object notification which is a fairly standard way of presenting inf information for um, JavaScript enabled web browsers to, to process. So this is all the information that we've got from that profile, the main one being the, obviously the buttons file. It's not exactly human readable but um, again you're not going to be peeking in here really. So. Now that that's converted over, it's actually completed. So here's your conversion complete. So if I was to now open that in a browser, which I've got a browser ready to show you, we now have a fully completed online enabled profile. Uh, the reason the background is missing on that one is because the file name has a, a space in it and currently it doesn't like spaces in file names. Um, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to get around that as yet but bear that in mind in the meantime if you do come across an image that's not loaded then that's probably the reason why. Okay so that's obviously the way it looks in a browser and you can test your, your macros by obviously clicking a button that's sending 7.4 inspect the element to make sure that's what it should be doing. 
So if you just go up to the the A anchor link that's covering the image itself, it'll tell you that within this data macro section that it should be pressing seven, 500 millisecond pause, then press number four, and then for some reason there's an additional pause. I'm not entirely sure why that additional pause is there. Um, and you can see that's actually just what's happened. So if I, I don't know, for instance, find take cover, that's macros 180, and you can see that's working fine. You can navigate between different tab sections perfectly fine. Uh, if you noticed, there was a, I did a version of this previously, um, actually manually created this, this profile, uh, and the tabs that were meant to be actually hidden as specified in Touch Buddy, see down here the ones with the sort of no entry sign on them. Uh, they're actually meant to be hidden from the from the tabs list and only accessible by um, buttons that are on the pages. Uh, with this, we've now got that system in place, so it'll only show the tabs that you specifically want to be shown, not every tab that's created. So, what we're going to do now then is I'm just going to quickly show you that on on the iPad device, uh, just using my PSI cam. So, I don't know if you can read that, I'm sure you can't. A little bit blurry, unfortunately, this camera. But you can see that the profile is loaded perfectly fine on the iPad. I can jump between tabs perfectly fine. Back to the armor page, look at the action commands, press whatever that was. May bring that out of your way a little bit so you can see that the macros are working from this. So stop halt is a 1-6, return to formation is a 1-1. One, one. You can see it's all working as it should be. Uh, press fraction, I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. But anyway, back to squad, or we can click within the, the tabs across the top. Obviously you're best looking at a, a, probably in a, a third party browser for the iPad. So you don't have to worry about all the menu bars and things like that. But uh, there you go, working on device as it should be with macros being sent without any problems so again I'm, I'm, I am expecting a few issues I'm not going to lie to you um, I would expect that some profiles are going to re require a little bit of manual tweaking until we can get to the bottom of any things that I haven't sort of either come across myself in my initial testing or uh, obviously people are going to find things that I maybe don't so for the time being, that is the version that's out in the wild. Um, if you do have any issues, post it up on the Touchdown forums and I'll endeavour to try and help out where I can. And obviously if it is something that's uh, on my side of the fence, so to speak, you know, if it's something wrong with the web service, something wrong with the profile builder, then obviously uh, the more information I know about that problem, the quicker we can get them fixed. So for now, hopefully that's uh, enough information for you guys to just uh, sort of get chucked in and give it a go. Um, if you do have any issues, again, always available at the Touchdown web, uh, forums. Thanks for viewing.